You guys, this is one of the cutest bunnies I have ever seen anywhere on the gallery. I mean, look at this little one. Look at that tiny little tail. Look at those haunches. Look at those ears. Oh my gosh, you know, it's been a little while since we've had some fresh bunny and also rabbit, you know, same thing basically. Genetics here in our Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge, where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. Uh, however, I am so excited because we finally have a new bunny that I just found completely by accident whilst roaming about on the gallery. Uh, and this one is by Aunt Wayne 110. And I love it. I absolutely love it. We took this lop rabbit, mixed it with some of Kalino's amazing custom content to go ahead and give it some nice haunches with the pet clothing. In fact, do we even have a tinier tail? Oh! <laughs> no, Simon got an even cuter tail. And that has given us some adorable genes that we can go ahead and mix and match to create none other than a antelope and a uh, bunny crossbreed. Which, if you guys can't tell, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go for like a jackrabbit. I guess I should say jackrabbit. Uh, to create a jackalope is basically what I was going for. But then I guess this would be a lopalope because when i saw the lop rabbit i wanted to get the lop eared bunny instead of the the jackrabbit I, I i forgot jackrabbits like have the really up pointy ears that's kind of one of their traits but can you blame me i mean look at how cute this little itty bitty is <laughs> but yes my friends so this is a very clever suggestion since as you guys know we have been doing a lot with the ranches and a lot with the sims for ranch to riches now that horse ranch is out <laughs> And um, I think that having some wild jackalopes running around as a mythical creature of the American West, where it is a jackrabbit with antelope horns, would be absolutely fantastic. But will we be able to go ahead and create our very own jackalopes from scratch using the genes we can find here in our laboratory? Once again, a huge thanks to Kalino for her amazing custom content, because without her, we would not have tails, we would not have horns, we would not have hooves. And uh, also, thank you very much to the people who have put up such amazing creations on the gallery, like It's Stub, who made this African antelope that very much resembles uh, somewhat a very skinny bongo antelope, basically. <laughs> But all right, so without further ado, we have quite a bit to do today since we have upgraded our gene challenge to start actually mixing quite a few of these color genes is what we've been calling them lately uh, across all of the crossbreeds who happen to be born. So we've got a huge range of colors that we can actually work with today. And I'm quite intrigued to go ahead and see what is going to pop out. So, like I said, without further ado, let's go ahead and put on our safety goggles, break out those petri dishes, and start having some of you guys become these curious crossbreed creations. All right, all right, all right. So, first one up is going to be a little bongo mix. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute already. <laughs> And of course, we have to wait until this little one grows up to see if it is going to be a large or small creature. And if it's small, it will inherit the bunny haunches and potentially the horns, I think, and potentially the hooves. Uh, and if it's large, then it won't be able to have the rabbit haunches, but it may still inherit the hooves and it might inherit a very tiny tail. <laughs> So this little one is going to be Katrina. Katrina, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a loyal, aggressive, vocal little, I guess a, a lopalope. A lopalope sounds so cute. And look at your eyes. They're different colors. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And because we are now doing these new ways of mixing and matching the genetics, I'm just going to do my best to kind of go pretty quick on this. And our little lopalope, you actually ended up having this color. Oh, oh my gosh, that actually is really cool. That's so cool. I can't believe that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm freaking out now because this is actually really amazing. <laughs> um, I did not expect like this, this, th th these kinds of colors. But you guys, according to, I write it down now so that you don't have to like sit there as I count all of the genes. But according to the color palette from our random dice rolls for what could be inherited, this is the coloration of Katrina. This is 
so much cooler. This is so the absolute upgraded way to do our genetics. Huzzah! We have now upgraded our random laboratory. Oh, I feel fantastic. We're like, we're gonna be like a world famous laboratory at this point. I love this. Forever and always, I will be mixing and matching the genes by basically all I'm doing, just to clarify, because a lot of you guys have been asking, is I'm looking at the colors that the parents have, and then I'm writing the color down next to a number, and then I'm rolling a dice that will go ahead and decide, uh, based on how many numbers I wrote down, what color will be inherited. And that is the result, and it's, it's obviously stunning, and that makes each and every one of the offspring that your animals have actually look unique, which I just could fall to the ground and raise my arms up to the sky in, in, in like victory pose because it's so hard to make your animals look unique in The Sims 4. Highly recommend doing that if you uh, would like to go ahead and give yourself some glorious, glorious offspring. And we're gonna go ahead and pull in the next little one. We're gonna randomize this one six times. One. And I'm gonna go kind of quick because we have so many genes to work with today. Five, and then six. This one's actually gonna be a female too. Oh, fun! We ended up with the bongo coloring again. All right, so this is actually going to be Willow, Willow Tree. What a fun name. Thank you, Cozy Fox. And this is going to be a troublemaker who is a couch potato and she's stubborn. Okay, all of those might end up being quite a bit put together. <laughs> but we will definitely have to see what happens. And Cozy Fox, I'm so happy to have you here as one of our lab assistants. You actually suggest mixing a moose and one of our blurst giraffes. Or, hopefully, pretty soon, we might have some actual moose antlers that won't look quite so terrifying uh, in case the horse custom content continues to come out. And you also suggest a lynx and a badger. You know what? We haven't done any badger mixes yet, and I think that that could be quite fun. And finally, a shih tzu and a mouse. We don't have mice, but we do have elephants. Miniature, tiny elephants, believe it or not. <laughs> All right, and once again, I'll handle this really quickly so you guys don't need to worry about which genes we end up selecting. Um, let's see, and then the next one's actually gonna be this one. Oh my gosh, I still just, I still just kind of want to sink to the ground with bliss and joy because this is so different. They actually look so different from one another. <gasps> I love doing it this way. And like I said, I do that kind of quickly. I'm just not gonna explain it every time. Literally just write the genes down, roll a dice, and then I glance down to be able to see like, oh, okay, so that's the color it's going to be. I am so excited. Why have we not been doing this the entire time? <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna go ahead and this one's going to be another little girl. And we are actually going to roll her twice. One, two. Oh, it's one of the ones that actually has the little bunny coloring. Oh, our little lopalopes. All right, this one is going to be Dawn. And Dawn, you find our laboratory experiments amazing, if what's somewhat concerning. And yes, I agree with you. It's amazing and terrifying all at the same time. It's fantastic. Dawn, you are going to be an independent, somewhat aggressive and hairy itty bitty one. Um, I actually wonder if the aggression is inherited from like the lop bunny because I personally, I've met a, a, quite a few rabbits in my life and I have yet to meet a rabbit who is uh, say that happy to see me. <laughs> They're usually a little bit more aggressive than you would be expecting. Um, all right. And then don't mind me just going ahead and putting down the colors. Look at that! So it looks like we actually have a very strong variant. Uh, that one actually stays the same. We actually have a very, very strong color pattern variant based on the lops, like overall cottony, sort of like brown tones. You're really pretty, Dawn! It's gonna be fun to see if you grew up to have little antlers or not. All right, let's pull up the next little Petri dish. Man, this, this is going a lot better now that I'm writing things down properly. <laughs> And this one's going to be another girl. Oh my gosh. And we're going to randomize once. 
There we go. Oh, look at this. So this is actually some of the hidden genes that might look like you have a little bit of the canine genetics popping in there. But don't worry, friends, because with the new like way that we're doing colors, everything is just looking so different. And Oakley, welcome, welcome. Uh, also, you suggest the name Gobcats for the goat bobcats we had. I love it. I love it. And you are going to be a friendly, loyal, intelligent little one. And let me get your colors real quick. Dun, 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 dun. You're actually... Okay, that's a really bright color. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting that. That's really cute. Um, and then you're going to be this one. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. It just turns out so different. I love this. And then you're going to be this color. <gasps> that's really cute! Oh my gosh, and now because we're using the color genes instead of just letting the the Sims 4 create a sim give us completely unrelated like colors and tones and textures, we actually are having, even with that pattern, offspring who kind of resemble the parents to some degree. This is absolutely the more superior way to mix our genetics from now on. Na 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 na. And next up, oh, our first little boy for a while. And this one, let me go ahead and randomize five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, it's another little lot bunny covered one. <laughs> this is going to be Mike. Oh, welcome, or Mick, pardon me. Welcome, Mick. Welcome, welcome. You are going to be a loyal and jumpy, hairy itty bitty who does seem to be wanting to pull as much of the lop into your like lineage as possible. Uh, since you know, you're hairy, you're jumpy. I have a feeling you wanna be a rabbit when you grow up. Let me go ahead and change your coloring real quickly. So you're actually, that color is really popular, I'm noticing. Uh, actually, that color is really popular, good gravy. Um, and then you're going to have this one and then uh, you're gonna have, actually, this one right here. Wow! That's cute! <laughs> That's really cute, actually. I really like the little gentle brown tones. Oh, and by the way, Mick, you suggest doing anything with the saber tooth tiger, because those mixes are so cool. You know what? We absolutely need to do that, especially because, did you guys know about the fanged deer? There are actually a species of deer in real life who happen to have fangs. And I would love to go ahead and basically just mix them together with, oh, can you imagine a fanged chihuahua? Okay, that's it. We need to do, where's my notes? See, there they are. All right, saber tooth tiger. I'm writing this down because this sounds amazing and a chihuahua <gasps> or a dachshund. Oh, I need to just write down or a Pomeranian. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, look, all of the small little itty bitties mixed with like a saber tooth tiger just sound freaking adorable. And then let's go ahead and pull up the very last of our current Petri dishes. Na 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 na. And this time we're going to have a little girl again. We're gonna roll five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so this is gonna be the color pattern we're working with. Uh, and now this is going to be Echoing End Song. Echoing, what a lovely name. You are going to be an adventurous, playful, and somewhat aggressive itty bitty pup. And you suggest crossbreeding a Kelpie with a Procherion. I don't know if I can get a Kelpie, but I am sure as heck gonna try, because that actually sounds really fun. And now that I think about it, I think it's a matter of time before the custom content makers want to give our mermaids some like sea-ish horses that they could go ahead and play with. We're gonna have to definitely look into that because that's gonna be quite fun. All right, so let me get your jeans lined up, little one. You're actually gonna have, oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> so you're gonna have that color and then you're gonna have this little, <gasps> ooh. Fun. Okay, this is actually the color you inherited, by the way. And then we've got the last one. Whoops. Uh, the last one's going to be this color. <gasps> Look at you! You guys, this is so much more fun because we have such a great variety to actually look at for all of the offspring. Even the ones who tried to pull out coats that <clears throat> look more like dog coats for some reason. I have no idea why that happened. Looks so cool! All right, so it is time 
now? Oh man, Katrina, like, come on. You are just, this is stunning. The, between this and the zebras that we crossbred earlier today, just my mind is blown with how beautiful all of these animals are. But Katrina, you are going to be the first one to grow up. Will you be big or small? Depending on what happens, uh, we'll have to see if you inherit the horns or if you inherit, uh, I guess, like no horns is kind of the, <gasps> look at you. You guys! Okay, so actually, Katrina did inherit the horns. So we're gonna put down the tiny itty bitty horns. Let me make sure that I have, oh my gosh, like we could have done big ears too. <laughs> All right, that would be adorable. I just wanna make sure I'm getting the right horns. So let's go for these ones right here. And then Katrina did actually inherit the haunches as well. So basically, Katrina, right out of the gate, you were immediately what I was hoping for. An antelope bunny. A, a, uh, lopalope, as one might say. One that I actually might sincerely release in our Sims 4, uh, Ranch to Riches. Oh, do I have tiny little, like, footsies? Do I put down? Ooh, you, if I do have hooves, you did inherit the hooves! You inherited the hooves! Yes, you inherited the hooves too! <laughs> Okay, so we do actually have a lopalope, and I might seriously add all the lopalopes like that look like this into our ranch to riches um like challenge that we're doing just to roam around and possibly be a little creature that we might add in to our uh, ranch in the future. But Willow Tree, maybe I'll go ahead and add you in because <gasps> Whoa! Look at you! You're so pretty! You inherited the horns. So let me go ahead and snag those. So let's see, we're gonna give you some lovely, lovely horns. There we go. And, oh man, okay, so you also inherited uh, the bunny tail if we have something that looks like a bunny tail on the shorter animals. We do! <laughs> and then you uh, did not inherit the hooves. Willow tree. Okay, look, doing this gene challenge with the new tweaks, it's absolutely turning out so fantastic. Even the more subtle things like a little Dawn here who did inherit the the horns. So give us just a second, Dawn. You too get to go ahead and have these lovely horns. Uh, and you did not inherit the haunches, unfortunately. So, and did you inherit the hooves? One more roll. You did not inherit the hooves. <laughs> Don, you probably look the closest to what a lopalope is supposed to look like. Um, oh yeah, and then let me see. Uh, you did not inherit the bunny tail either, but you you are quite adorable. I could have you running around one of my ranches as well. Oakley, you are up next. Let me just go ahead and prepare ourselves. Oakley, I love your ears. I love your ears. So Oakley did inherit the horns. So let me go ahead and grab some of those for you. And then Oakley did inherit the tail, so we also have the bunny tail, or excuse me. No, Oakley did not inherit the tail. Oakley, you get this kind of tail. And then, eh, let's see. And then Oakley, you did not inherit the hooves. So this is what you look like, my dear. You, you have like little bunny feet. That's actually kind of adorable. And then we've got Mike right over here, or Mick, pardon me, I don't know why I keep calling you Mike, I'm sorry. And Mike actually did end up, or Mick, oh my gosh. Sorry about that. <laughs> you did end up inheriting the horns. You ended up inheriting the bunny tail. And you ended up inheriting the hooves, but not the haunches. All right, so let's give you some little hoofies too. You need these ones, because these are the ones that the little antelope would have. There you go. Okay, that's another good lopalope. That's actually a better lopalope because it has like all of the lopalope features. Mike welcome or no, mick mick not mike <laughs> oh my gosh and finally echoing big or small let us know you're gonna be itty bitty and you inherited let's see what we got here you have the horns you do not have the bunny tail and i i do kind of have something eh, eh. I mean, that'll do to try to pretend it's the antelope tail. I should have been doing that all along, but oh well. And you did inherit the haunches, and you did inherit... Oh my gosh, these ones, like, inherited everything. It's kind of amazing. Uh, so you did inherit the haunches, and you also inherited the hooves. So you kind of have a little bit of everything as well. You look like somebody wanted to make an actual bull bulldog, and... Wait a second. We haven't done a bull and a bulldog yet? 
<laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we'll have to definitely try that out. But all right, friends, these are beautiful creatures. What the absolute heck? I really might just have them roaming around the background of our ranch to riches because, uh, wow. It'd be kind of funny to say, like, I've seen, like, a, a lopalope just roaming in the wild. And I cannot wait to see what the other mixes that we will create in the future will have now that we are starting to finally, finally be able to do something really fun with their colorations. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like so that uh, you can go ahead and help me feed all of these little creatures. And leave your suggestions for future crossbreeds down below so that you too could become a gorgeous lopalope roaming around the deserts of my sims legacies <laughs> i'll see you guys next time stay curious everyone Bye bye